This is a J Feather X17Z model from Jayco. It is by far their best selling hybrid camper that they build down there at the uh, Middlebury plant. Um, features five sided vacuum lamination. If you're not familiar with that process, give us a call so we can go through and explain. Now, uh, you'll see a lot of these campers out here. It's a very popular model, uh, but they're not quite all built the same. For instance, we always add the gas and electric water heater for a while. Um, gas only was standard. There's still quite a few of those out there. Outside shower is standard on these. Um, we like to put the aluminum wheel package on these to dress them up a little bit. It just looks so much nicer. Nice little science fact. Uh, aluminum wheels will spill off braking heat better than steel wheels. Um, you notice that uh, Jayco uses a radius construction design on their doors. I like that because there's no sharp corners for uh, your, your kids to you know spear themselves on out the campsite. Because you give a kid enough, you know, sugar from marshmallows and s'mores, and they'll find a way. Uh, you notice there's no bed support stands. Everything is self-supporting through the cable that's built in here. That connects right up into the sidewall. This bed holds about uh, 1,050 pounds. That's the rating from Jayco. The uh, you're never going to put that much weight on it, never. But if you have a kid that's jumping on it and bouncing up and down on it, this is built for being over torqued. It's, it's built to overperform what you can throw at it. Um, RVQ grill prep is standard on the J Feather Ultralight as of 2012 model year. Outside speakers are another standard that come on these. <clears throat> the, uh, I think it's the interior though that really sets this one apart from the rest. Um, for years, the only 17-foot hybrids were out there, had a big U-shaped dinette across the front. And I like the U-shaped dinette, but you have to crawl over it to get to bed. So when they split this and put a smaller dinette and a sleeper sofa, you actually gained a little bit of functional space and a walkway. Um, the uh, AM FM CD stereo, this is also your DVD player, um, plays DVDs on the television that you'd set up here on top of the fridge. Um, that's a standard item. What's neat is it has this little uh, USB plug here. The idea behind that is that if you have a uh, if you have a phone or uh, MP3 player or something like that, um, you can actually charge it off of there. Also, if you plug a camera into it, it will display um, like a picture slideshow on your television. Um, a nice little step up on the J feathers compared to a lot of hybrid lightweights, cloth shades instead of metal blinds. Now these windows are an 80% UV automotive tint, meaning they're very UV reflective, so it's very hard for the furniture in here to sun fade. Also, um, they, uh, they will do better with heat and cooling loss, as well as privacy. It's hard to see inside of here. Uh, this is a view from sitting on the front bed, looking toward the back of the camper. You notice you have all your uh, TV hookups and whatnot right here next to where the DVD player system is. Same 13,500 BTU air conditioner that you'll find on uh, a bigger fifth wheel even. Um, you notice in the, uh, down here in the kitchen area there's still AC outlets so that you can uh, plug in say a blender, coffee maker, or anything like that. Um, and this obviously has a, a decent sized bathroom to it. I'm 6'3", I could stand up and move around in here no problem. They do have a skylight above the shower. This is your uh, propane tank cover. We keep it in here so it doesn't walk away. And that is an RVQ grill. Uh, it comes new in the box, that way no one's ever touched it. And uh, you know, you guys when you go camping, you're the first ones that ever get to enjoy it. Though we do test it before you take it home and fire it to make sure everything's in good working order. There it is, best-selling X-17Z Jayco J-Feather Ultralight from Halo RV, H-A-Y-L-E-T-T-R-V.